Welcome, my friends, as we all gather in prayer this morning for the same purpose. We're here to start our day in gratitude to God for the beautiful gift of another day. We're here to lean into faith and find a deeper connection to God. And today, we're talking about healing. Healing of all kinds, whether it's physical, emotional, or spiritual, we all need healing or have loved ones that need healing. I want to ask you, my friend, do you believe that through God's grace, we can experience a profound healing that rejuvenates our body, our mind, and our spirit? I believe that you do. I believe that's why you're here, and it's not an accident that you clicked this video with so many choices. You ended up here because you need to heal. And that's exactly what we're focused on today. Our God, the great physician, is a healer unlike any other. In the scripture, we find the story of the paralyzed man at the pool at Bethesda, an individual who had been waiting for 38 years for someone to help him into the healing waters. Imagine the depth of his despair and the persistence of his hope. When Jesus approached him and asked about his desire to be healed, it wasn't just a question. It was a call to affirm his faith. Jesus' command in John 5, 8, Rise, take up your bed, and walk serves as much more than an instruction. It's a profound act of healing and empowerment. He wasn't just telling the man, he was healing the man. The same man that waited patiently for 38 years to be healed. But how long have we waited to be healed? It's so easy to lose our patience, wanting healing, physical healing, emotional healing, or spiritual healing, but have we waited 38 years? Some of us have, but can we wait longer? We can also recall the moment when Jesus calmed the storm with his words. These words have echoed through time. Jesus simply said, Peace, be still. The disciples, seasoned fishermen who had weathered many storms, were terrified. Yet in their moment of great fear, they witnessed the mastery of Jesus over nature. This miracle is a vivid illustration of God's authority over the storms in our lives, both literal and metaphorical. It reassures us that in times of pain, whether emotional, mental, or spiritual, the peace of God is supreme. Just as the sea obeyed His command, so can the storms within us be stilled by His word. Then there's Lazarus. Lazarus was dead for four days by the time Jesus arrived. Yet, in what seemed a hopeless situation, Jesus declared, I am the resurrection and the life. Lazarus's return from the dead is a profound declaration of Jesus' power over life and death, a testament to the fact that with God, it is never too late for a miracle. It is never too late to heal. Just when it seems all is lost, we have to remember that God has perfect timing. You will heal. Those you love will heal. God has a plan for it, but it will take time. Still, we must remember God's timing is always perfect. His peace is always available, and His power knows no bounds. Remember these truths, my friend. Remember these as you seek healing for yourself or for the ones you love. Perhaps you've been waiting for a breakthrough for what seems like an eternity. Or maybe you're in the midst of a storm seeking peace amidst chaos. Or you might be facing a situation that appears utterly hopeless, yearning for a resurrection in your life or in the life of a loved one. Today, I invite you to bring these needs before God in faith, inspired by the stories of those who encountered Jesus and were never the same again. Let us approach God with the expectancy of the man at Bethesda, the awe of the disciples in the storm, and the hope of Martha and Mary outside Lazarus' tomb. Let us believe together in healing, in peace, and in the power of resurrection in our lives. 
You can read along with me as I pray this prayer or simply listen along. But I need you to know that others are praying with you right now. Others are walking this path with us and you are not alone. Now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today, hearts open and spirits attuned to your divine presence, seeking your grace and your mercy in our lives and in the lives of those we hold dear. Your word, as declared in Psalm 34, 18, reassures us the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. In this moment of prayer, we draw near to you, confident in your power to heal, restore, and renew. Lord, we acknowledge the vastness of your creation, the depth of your love, and the unfathomable power of your healing touch. You who calmed the stormy sea with a word and brought Lazarus back from the dead have the power to mend every brokenness in our lives. We trust in your authority over every aspect of our existence. We know, we know, Lord, that there is no wound too deep for your love to heal. We know there is no barrier too great for your power to overcome. And we know that there is no heartache that you cannot soothe with your comforting presence. As we seek your healing, Lord, we pray for those among us suffering from physical ailments. Lord, touch their bodies with your healing hands. Just as Jesus restored sight to the blind and made the lame walk, we pray for your healing miracles to manifest in our lives today. Lord, please grant doctors, nurses, and caregivers your wisdom and compassion as they act as instruments of your healing. But Lord, we know that healing is not confined to the physical alone. Many of us carry hidden wounds, struggles with anxiety, depression, past trauma. We lift up to you those burdened by invisible ailments, those who fight silent battles every day. Pour your peace that surpasses all understanding upon their hearts and minds. May your love wrap around them, reminding that they are never alone, for you walk beside them through every valley. In your mercy, Lord, extend your healing to relationships that are strained and broken, homes divided, and hearts turned cold. Where there is hurt, please, Lord, create forgiveness. Where there is division, please bring unity. And where love has grown cold, please, Lord, rekindle the flame of genuine affection and care. Heal the wounds of the past and open paths to reconciliation and mutual understanding. Lord, we also pray for spiritual healing in a world that often turns away from you. Please, Lord, draw our hearts closer to your divine heart. Renew our spirits that we may walk in your ways and reflect your love in our actions and decisions. Lord, please strengthen our faith so that we may stand firm against the trials of this life, holding on to the hope and faith we have in you. And Father, we pray for the healing of our communities and our world. In places torn by conflict, disease, and despair, please let your peace reign supreme. Open our eyes to the needs of those around us and inspire us to acts of kindness and compassion that embody your love and contribute to the healing of our world. We lift up to you those we love, family, friends, neighbors, Watch over them, protect them, and provide for their needs. May they experience your healing presence in their lives, finding comfort, strength, and joy in your promises. And Lord, we remember the words of Jesus who promised us peace, not as the world gives. Grant us the courage to face each day with hope, knowing that you are with us, that your love surrounds us, and that your grace is sufficient for all our needs. And Lord, as we place our trust in you, we do so knowing that your plans for us are for good and not for harm, to give us a future filled with hope. We thank you for the assurance of healing, for the promise of your presence, and for the hope that sustains us through every trial. In all things, we give you glory, for you are our healer, our comforter, and our great redeemer. 
through the highs and lows, in times of sickness and health, in moments of despair and in seasons of joy, we will praise your name, for you are good and your love and healing endures forever. In the precious and powerful name of Jesus, we pray, Amen. If you've prayed this prayer with me, I ask you to type the word Amen in the comments section below. And I declare with great conviction that the blessing of this prayer will follow you throughout your day and you will glorify God in all that you do. And please help our ministry reach more Christians on YouTube by liking this video and sharing it with those who need healing. And if you want to support our mission even further, please consider joining us on Patreon. Members will get ad-free access to over 500 prayers on our website, discounts in our shop, and even your own custom prayer video and sermon, just like this one, but made personally for you. When you support us on Patreon, you not only help us deepen the faith of so many Christians in need, but you also help us reach those who have not yet felt the love of Christ, but so desperately need it. Click the link in the description to visit our Patreon and learn more. I'm so, so grateful for your support as we try to spread His Word. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today and always. God bless.